today. So, haven't done any unboxings for a little while. Uh, been really busy. This time of year is super busy for us. Uh, got a lot we're doing around the property. Springtime, summertime, that sort of thing. Uh, got a bunch to get to. But today, I... So, yeah, I've been on a little bit of a Mech Warrior kick lately. So, got some more stuff off eBay. We'll open it up. I got a bunch of action figures I'm going to be opening up soon. So, we'll try and get to a couple of those today as well. But, uh, I almost forgot what I got. So, let's see what we got. <laughs> let's see. It should be... It should be some Jade Falcon stuff. Yeah, that's right. Because I like the Jade Falcon. So, I'm trying to build up that collection. So, it should be that. Uh, and... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, as always, way to, to support the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Those are the easiest ways. Watch the videos in their entirety or leave them on in the background in their entirety. Uh, and then, of course, there are <laughs> check out my eBay page. And uh, I'll put a little post it here. And then, of course, you can donate via Cash App, you know, like a cup of coffee thing so I can't have it go directly through YouTube yet because we don't have a thousand subscribers once we have a thousand subscribers then we can start doing that as long as we get enough views you have to have like a thousand subscribers and like uh, so many hours of views within a 365 day period so uh, yeah let's let's see if we can get there that'd be great but in the meantime if you can donate you know a couple bucks here or there that's fine uh, I Forgot to put together a raffle item for this month. I totally forgot because we've been so busy. I'll try to get one this month or maybe uh, maybe June. But either way, I'll I have a I have a couple that we could raffle off. So for today, enough about that. Today, let's open this up. Let's see. And again, uh, I guess I've been on kind of a mech warrior kick lately. Maybe it's the nostalgia. Maybe it's the fact that I just really miss the game. So like I said, I was looking at getting into uh, Battletech there for a little while, and then I said, you know what? I prefer, I don't, I just don't like the scale. It's just too small. I would prefer to play uh, with the big mechs, and the beauty is you can play Alpha Strike with the, uh, the old mechs. Uh, or then you can just go and play Mech Warrior too, whichever you prefer. You don't have to learn the new game. Ooh, very well wrapped. Okay. Lots of wrapping. Let's see what we get here. I think I got mostly mechs and I forget if I got any tanks or anything. <coughs> Excuse me. And can you guys hear me okay? Because I, I got a new microphone. I got a wireless microphone for the last couple of videos. I like the fact that it's wireless. It wasn't certainly wasn't the most expensive one. Uh, the one I really want. I think it was a hundred dollars for the pair. Yeah, I'm not doing that anytime soon. But uh, yeah, let me know if everything sounds okay. Oh yes, have to have a Mad Cat. Have to have a Mad Cat. If there's opportunity to get it. Oh wow, this one's. Very articulated. He's a little bit of paint taps there for the rockets, but wow, I hadn't seen any that were. None of mine had this articulation for the rockets. It's pretty cool. And this, again, this is why the current Battletech stuff is so lame by comparison. It's like, okay, this has articulation. I can move it. I can set up different things, and you don't really have to, but it just adds to the coolness factor. There's your dial primary attack, secondary attack. Looks like we have. What do we have? Is that movement? I forget. Is that movement? Uh, I, don't, I forget what that would be. I, get, I should have my card out. My special equipment card. And I think the green is sort of like Hero Clicks Energy Shield Deflection. I just forget the name. Yeah, so always going to have a Mad Cat. Again, this is all going to be Jade Falcon stuff because I want to build up that collection. There we go. Yeah, that's it. So a nice bubble wrap. When I eBay some stuff, I'm, I'm in the process. I just eBayed a bunch of uh, Mythic Legion stuff. I got to do a few more, make some room, and then I get some Mech Warrior stuff. Nothing really special in the Mech Warrior stuff, just if you're looking to build up some teams. Uh, could be a good way to go. All right, got to have a Thor. Love getting Thors. And again, we didn't really get close to the Mad Cats. Let's get up close on this. Again, decals. And I like doing the unboxings, but I figured, hey, if I really want, I know there's certain items I want to get. Oh, wow, even that hurt. Oh, no, that was his old body that was articulating that. Oh. Gotta get a Thor. And again, it's not a special, it's just an elite. It's not a unique. Alright, so we have Pulse on the energy weapon, and then nothing there. 
and then we have uh, improved targeting. So basically, like prop, I think you get the reroll. There's a, a type of reroll in there. Okay. Nice. Nice. I wasn't really looking at stats too much. I just said, hey, I know I want these pieces because I like the Thors, I like the Mad Cats, who doesn't? And I want to build up this collection. All right, so here's a vehicle. What do we get for a vehicle? Oh, so obviously a, uh, a VTOL for those that are aware. Ah, yes, the well, like drone. Well, it's not a drone, it's still a ship. What do we call these? The Yes, the MH1 Hawk Moth gunship. So back in this game with the uh, flying vehicles, you had this is cruising, but this is a map of the Earth, right? This is at you're at ground level. Anybody on ground level, tanks, whatever, can shoot you, attack you. You you can be affected by artillery. Uh, to symbolize flying, much like a lot of the old hero click stuff, you have this little stand. Put them up on top. This shows they're flying. And why this is important is because now you're not interacting with everything down here. Now, tanks and things can still shoot at you. Artillery happening on the ground is not affecting you. Uh, and I forget if you get a plus one to your defense or if you get a to the height advantage modifier or if you get a plus one to your attack. I forget. So don't quote me on that. I just know there's an advantage to being at higher level. So uh, advantage and disadvantage. And the beauty is they can go, you can use up your movement speed here we are 20 movement speed with red i think is evade so think like if you play hero clicks it would be like super senses okay evade and beauty was okay you can fly along use up some of your movement speed kind of like hypersonic to go from here to here here to here here to here and uh yeah so it, may, it could make things interesting so it could be like all right i'm gonna fly over I'm going to shoot your guys, and then your tanks are all over here. I'm going to pop up, shoot your guys over the blocking terrain. And then, up. Uh, no, now we're just going to pop right back down, so you can't shoot back at me next turn. So, yeah, that's something that I think Heroclix lacks with flying characters. Um, I wish there was a way to do that. They may have had that back in the day, something similar. Wouldn't doubt it, but I like the idea of, hey, I'm a flyer. I just want to jump up and shoot you over the blocking terrain. Why shouldn't I be able to? Why does Superman have to get up high to get here? Why can't he just jump up? But again, that's another whole conversation. Okay, who else we got going on here? I think I have at least one unique in here. Ah, yes, I had to get Sean Roshak. This is a Shrike. Just because these guys are so, I don't, again, they're so badass looking. Let's check that out. Claws. Nice machine gun. Energy weapon for the primary. Not a lot of range. I like range. Uh, they have special abilities though, Jade Falcon. I forget what they are at the moment. But then again, we have improved targeting and we have pulse. Pulse lets you make uh, a second energy weapon attack, if I remember correctly. So if you're a Heroclix player, think like. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Flurry, except this is with range. Okay, and I think that was that. Yes, so that was a unique. Back in the day, they used to come with these cool things. There's just data on it. Uh, doesn't really give you anything special. You know, it's just data. Later on in the game, they got into pilot cards, which pilot cards you got a different pilot flying or operating the vehicle, mech, and that could give you bonuses. Uh, okay. All right. Yes. So we have another mech here, and just just look at the absurdity of this. Oh yeah, in your face. Uh, all right. So this is a Grifflecon. Again, not a unique. This would be a veteran, if I remember correctly. So not a noob. Not a, the. Uh, Top of the line. Oh, green on energy weapon. I do not remember what that is. Oh, we've got a good secondary 14 range. Okay, I like that. I like anything that can get out and just hit from far away and get the heck out of Dodge. All right, cool. 
And I like the, uh, let's look at that. You see the cockpit up there. The detail on these is great. And I want to say for a booster back in the day, they were like 10 bucks a booster. Which you've seen the boost, you know, some of my booster unboxing. Uh, if you haven't, go back and watch. But you basically got a mech, a vehicle, and two infantry. I don't think I bought any infantry. Okay, and that was it. And yeah, just those few pieces. Again, that uh, I prefer to do boosters. I think it's a little more fun. But if you know the specific pieces you want, this, this is a good way to get them. I don't like necessarily going on eBay, but that's what we did. Actually, I don't have a problem with going on eBay. Why am I saying that? I sell a lot on eBay. Uh, in fact, back in the day, I used to sell a ton of mechware on eBay. But uh, just wish they didn't take so much in the, uh, the commission, but I get it. All right, anyways, so that was fun. I liked unboxing these pieces. What do you all think? Which you know, Leave a comment down below which one is your favorite. If you currently play or have played the game and have played with those pieces, which one... Did you enjoy playing with the most? Uh, I think I, I want to play with that guy first. It's really like range. So I, gotta, I want to play with this guy. I want to play with all of them. Who am I kidding? So I'm trying to get the kids to play the game. I don't really have anybody local that plays. Uh, I might try and get my brother-in-law into it. But we'll see. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. See ya.